Hey all, I hope you all are doing good. This is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we're going to discuss about the options which are available especially for life sciences, biotech and bio-IT student, researcher and scientist. Whether you are from India or abroad, many of you want to do this transition from academia to industry. I myself has experience from both the sector as I have taught biotech students also and I have done work as a scientific researcher and scientific officer in industry also. So let's get started. It's completely your preference whether you want to work in industry, R&D or pharma setup or in academia based on your research interest, experience and career plan. There are differences between the work culture, the salary differences are different. So usually in the academia we work mostly in the research oriented way but the industry work mostly in the result and revenue oriented way. There is a huge difference in the salaries also and if you are in the academia, the freedom and the flexibility for your projects and for research and grants varies in comparison to your industrial setup actually. So it's completely your individual preference whether you want to work in academia or industry. Data revolution is happening in every sector and big data handling is the part of new era. We can say data is the new goal today. The biologist and the bio-based industry also require data analysts and data scientists to smartly and logically handle such data, especially with the advance in the omic technology, sequence revolution and IT development, biology, biopharma, biomedical, biotech and bio-IT sector requires skilled human researchers and scientists who know bioinformatics, AI, machine learning, IoT, omic scientists, computer biologists, etc. so that they can smartly handle this uh, huge amount of data. The another option is application scientists. These are those who can plan, conduct the experiment, analyze the data and effectively summarize the result and interpret the significant conclusion based on especially the data part. They also support in the demonstration and maintain application and also application related equipments, which are important part of the R&D industry and pharma and biotech industry actually. So the skills which you require for these kind of positions are your interactive skills, teaching ability, technical skills, and also your good presentation skills. So the job which will be required in such kind of sectors are you have to track the historical record, you have to identify the patterns and predict the outcome also. So if you are open for travel or you are having good communication and management skill and if, if you are interested in learning about the R&D and pharma industry and their business, uh, then the field scientist is also a good option along with the application scientist. The another option is program management. Program management and project management are two different things. Usually the program manager prime job is to ensure the fulfillment of the larger organization goal. They coordinate activities between the multiple projects without directly managing them. They manage the main program. They also provide the attention to the program strategy and most important program implementation. So the responsibility usually in such kind of jobs required to define project and uh, project requirement and to identify all the element of the cost schedules and technical performance. You also have to develop and refine the work breakdown structure to a level sufficient to identify all the work required for such tasks. You also have to serve as the point of contact for both scientific and financial discussion with the client. You also have to manage the cost, schedule and performance of the program. Sometimes you have to lead the opportunity capture and propose a preparation on the medium to large efforts. You also have to prepare and present presentations in the internal meetings and also to the external customer to provide the review and an update on the technical aspects and the cost and the schedule. You also have to actively manage the risk by using risk management. As we know, clinical science is a high demand industry. So many clinical scientists are required with high salary package in such sector. 
as you know drug industry biopharma and pharmaceutical industry is a huge sector and lot of people are required for this kind of position with high salary packages actually so mostly you have to perform research and development related to the development of uh, diagnostic prevention strategies therapeutic development and at both at the preclinical level and at the level of uh, clinical trials these kind of scientists will be required and they are in demand actually so you can enter as a clinical scientist and preclinical scientist in the pharma and biopharma industry the another option is scientific writing illustration and medical writing so if you have skills in these kind of scientific writing communication and medical writing then you can enter in such sectors and positions although scientific writing and medical writings are bit different in scientific writing you have to work mostly in the basic uh, literatures publications and those things but in medicinal writing you have to write mostly related to clinical scientific uh, documentations in a very comprehensive standard and convincing manner actually so you have to create a well structured scientific document here that include clinical research documents sometime content for the healthcare website and also for healthcare magazines and journals and news areas so you have to like up skills accordingly and whether you want to enter in the scientific writing illustration and or maybe in medical writing and editing kind of work i already made one video tutorial how you can use advanced tool for scientific illustration i will put the uh, link of that video in the description section so if you have missed watching that video you can watch that also as you know uh, academia and industry work little bit in different uh, way in academia we mostly focus on research and then publication but in industry they mostly focus on the research and development revenue and also a very important part of their technologies and their discoveries is patent so whatever processes devices or research or therapies or drug they are uh, developing they make sure that they are doing the patent for those things so in industry setup in r&d setup in pharma biopharma and biotech industry we require patent officer for patent analysis purpose for filing these things we are law officer so a proper patent analyst patent specialist patent agent will be required in such sector we also have our courses on scientific writing which include the patent filing and uh, patent related subjects and modules so if you are interested you can contact for that purpose also if you want to work in the industry setup either you can join the startups also and if you have some technology skill or if you do have interest in the business sector especially related to pharma biopharma biotech then you can start your own uh, startup also so these days not only in india but abroad also so both at the global and national level ministries and your governments also support by various schemes so i would suggest you to uh, if you have innovative idea you can start or you can enter in any startups related to bio it biotech and biopharma and biomedical areas the another option which is important is your regulatory affairs jobs so you can enter such job related to pharmaceutical regulatory affairs and you can become regulatory officers especially in the government healthcare sectors these regulatory officers and inspector and associate actually regulate the pharma and healthcare sectors you require certain skill sets like legal knowledge writing skills decision making skills and also cost analysis and budgeting skills for such kind of job you can enter in the medicinal science license these are those scientific professional who provide information about their employer's product such as medicinal devices drugs and therapeutics so these people will be required in the pharma r&d sectors these 
actually establish and maintain the relationship with the leading physician, researcher and clinicians. So they analyze the clinical trends and practices also and they monitor the scientific literature for the new development and they provide consulting with the product development and the medicinal professionals also. Industry also require those people who are good in managing the peoples. If you have ability for sales and management skills, then you can also enter in the sales and HR sections also, especially in these kind of industry related to pharma, biopharma and R&D. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor. Best wishes for your transition. Thank you so much.